Hey guys, I want you to go ahead and disable these uh, 25 useless services now in order for you to have less CPU and RAM usage in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. So for us to get started, I want you to go ahead and open the services here on your Windows. And this is what we are getting. Now most of these are either set to manual and some of these are set to automatic and we are going to go ahead and disable them and I'm going to tell you why. So first things first, we're going to go ahead with this one right here, assigned access manager service. So this is actually going to let your admin set up a device to only allow specific apps to run. So this is mostly used for kiosk setup. So if your PC is not used for kiosk setup, then go ahead and disable this one because we're not going to need them. So I'm going to go ahead and click this and disable and then hit apply and then hit OK. Now the next thing that we are going to do is the BitLocker. So this one right here, BitLocker Drive Encryption System. So what this does is that it manages encryption on your devices to keep data secure preventing unauthorized access but again if you own this personal pc then i don't think you should be worrying it so i'm going to disable this one hit apply hit ok and then the next thing that we are going to do is for the bluetooth so there are a lot of bluetooth here um, I want you to go ahead and try to check all of these three here. Now, there is a catch though. So if you are using Bluetooth device, say for example, for your headset speaker, or say for example, you're using it for other device, then I want you to go ahead and just leave it at manual. There you go, same as what I have here. Otherwise, you are going to have to disable these if you're not using. In my case, I mostly don't use Bluetooth, so I'm going to go ahead and disable this one. Hit apply, okay. The same thing here. I'm going to this. I'm going to disable this. All right, there you go. Now another thing that we are going to do is the connected user. So we're going to go ahead and look for it here. So this one, connected user experiences and telemetry. So as you can see, it's running as of the moment. So what this does is that it gathers performance and usage data from your system, and then send this one to Microsoft in order for you to help them improve the Windows experience. So I don't need this really. So I'm just going to disable this one, hit the stop first. And as you can see, it's going to work its way and then make sure to disable it, hit apply and then hit OK. Now, another thing is the diagnostic. So we're going to go ahead and look for it down here. So diagnostic execution service. So this is used for troubleshooting processes in the background to help detect and resolve system issues. Um, there are a lot of these here, a diagnostic actually um i want you to go ahead and decide whether you have been experiencing a lot of problems lately with your pc um you can go ahead and disable these if you don't think you're experiencing some problems however it would be better though if you're going to set these to manual so for example we have here the policy service i'm just going to go ahead and stop this for now and i'm going to go ahead and set this to manual just like so hit apply, hit OK. And then another thing that we are going to look for is the geolocation. So this one here, geolocation service. Now it is running as of the moment, but I want you to go ahead and stop this one. So geolocation actually allows apps to determine your device's location. Now this is mostly used for, say for example, apps like Google Maps and, and other map related uh, application or maps that utilizes maps. So in my case, I'm just going to disable this one or stop this one. However, I'm going to leave it at manual. So basically when I want to use it, I'm just going to enable it at that particular time. However, most of the time it is disabled. So as you can see, it's manual now and it's not running. Now, next, I want you to go ahead and look for net log on. So this one right here. So this is actually going to help in managing secure logins for users on a domain. So like, for example, in an office network setup. However, in your case, again, if this is your personal PC, go ahead and disable this one as you have no use for it. Now, next is parental control. So this one right here. So this is going to help manage and enforce parental control settings, like limiting what your kids can do on a PC. Um, but I'm really not sure if most of us are using this one. In my case, for example, I've never used this. My parents never used this. I don't know anyone who have used this one. So I'm just going to disable this one. Hit apply, hit okay. And then we have phone service managers. 
um, this one phone service so i'm going to go ahead and click this one right here so phone service actually manages phone related features like connecting your pc to your phone for calls or sms um, I'm not sure most of you guys do this, but if you do, then you can just go ahead and leave it manual. But what I want you to do here is just click the stop button right here, just like so, and then hit OK. So we didn't change it. We didn't disable it, but we have disabled the status of it. Now, next is print spoolers. So if you are not using your PC for uh, printing, then go ahead and disable this one because as you can see, it is running, meaning it is consuming resources for your PC. Um, in my case, my personal computer right now has not or never been used for printing. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop this for now and then click this one, disable it, hit apply, hit OK. Next, we have remote desktop. So this one here, right here, um, there are a lot of these. We have uh, remote desktop configuration services and uh, services user mode port redirector. So what these do is actually manages different aspects of remote desktop services, like for example, user permissions, connections, and other stuff like that. Um, if you are not using your PC for anything related to remote, I want you to go ahead and disable these. So so for example, I'm just going to disable it just like so. Hit this one right here. I've never actually used any PC for remote in the past. And I think most people have not either. Now next we are going to look for the sensor service. So sensor service handles sensor-based inputs like accelerometers or ambient light sensors in your device. And I know most of you guys don't really use this one. So we're going to disable it, hit apply, hit OK. And then smart car device, uh, this one right here. So smart car device enumeration service. So this deals with recognizing and using smart cards uh, often used for secure logins and payments. I don't know if you do that one. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this because I know most of us don't use it for that purposes. Now Windows Biometric. So we're going to go ahead and look for that one here. Uh, Windows Biometric is mostly used for biometric login or access. There are some laptops who have like fingerprint sensors. So if your laptop has one of that, then you are going to go ahead and basically uh, set this to manual or automatic. Automatic would be better. However, in my case, I'm using a PC that does not have any of that function. So I'm going to disable this one. Hit apply, hit OK. And then Windows Error Reporting Service. So we have it here. There you go. Now, this one is for collecting crash and error data and send it to Microsoft in order for them to improve the Windows stability. I don't really know if you guys use this one. I'm pretty sure when something crashes in your PC, you're just going to look for solutions online. Next, we have Work Folders Properties. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down here. This one right here. Um, this is going to manage settings for work folders, which lets you sync files between devices. Now, if you are going to go ahead and use this one, then that's good. However, in my case, this is mostly for personal use and I don't really use this one. So I'm going to disable it as it has no use to me. Next, we have the Xbox. So there are a lot of Xbox related things right here. If you're using Xbox, then definitely enable these. However, I want you to go ahead and disable these if they are not being used because again, they're just going to consume resources. All right, two more things. Um, I forgot about this one. Um, we have Sysmain. Where is it? So S, there you go. This one's startup type is set to automatic. So what this does is actually it optimizes your system performance by predicting which apps you'll use next and preloading them into memory. Um, I'm not really sure how accurate this is. I know the goal is to improve system performance over time. However, that doesn't seem to work for me. So in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and disable this one. Hit the stop button right here as of the moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit apply, hit OK. So again, that has no use to me. I've been doing this one for a long time. And another thing is wallet service. Um, where is the wallet service? There you go. 
So wallet service is used for digital payments and credentials and stored in your PC's wallet. I'm not sure if you have wallet here on your PC. In my case, I don't have, so I am going to disable this one. Again, a lot of these are disabled for reasons. So again, reason why I disable most of these is because I have no use of them. And when I don't use them, I'm just going to go ahead and remove their way to access my resources. So again, that is how you are going to get this done, everybody. I hope this video helps you out.